Around my higher politics class we've been using um, Grow and Jammer to try and provide more depth in learning and to bring learning outside of the 50 minute period box within the school day. There was a number of different reasons that um, I decided to use this. One was um, I'd previously carried out a practitioner inquiry in the use of digital technology in the classroom. The school is also um, encouraging us to carry out small tests of change. Um, so myself and two colleagues decided to look at digital technology and how we could make it, its use more meaningful um, in the classroom. And this led me to um, experiment with some of the things that um, were available through the Glow um, 365 um, operation that we have now in education. So I started off with um, Yammer as it was quite familiar to the students having previously used things like Edmodo and being quite comfortable with Facebook. Um, so I set up a group um, with a brand new class at the start of the term. Um, and they all joined, joined straight away, logged in and kind of started just experimenting with it and talking to each other. Um, and then later on I built um, the SharePoint page. The idea being that I could upload resources from um, lessons and then use Yammer to announce when resources were there um, and set up home learning, learning tasks um, through the, the Go page as well. What attracted me using digital technology uh, to support learning was, uh, I think, where digital technology was being used um, in the school quite widely, it maybe was quite superficial and we weren't getting the depth that was possible um, through some of the things like Yammer um, and the Global SharePoint site. Um, Yammer just offered the opportunity to take learning out of the, the period, the 50 minute box, and to um, bring conversations into the home um, on the move, and I think that's, that is what happened. Um, particularly when things like the um, European Un Union election, the referendum came up. Yeah, that was a, a, a great period where we were all t discussing it out with the, um, the standard period. I think maybe initially the students were a bit wary, thinking this is another username and password to remember. It seems like something similar to stuff they'd used before, like of Edmodo, but I think quite quickly they, they saw the benefit of it and they took to it really well. Um, they were very keen to engage in the conversation out with the classroom and um, examples like the European Union referendum was where they were all very, very engaged and could take a bit of control over what we were talking about and setting the agenda for, for lessons. And I think once they kind of caught on to that idea, um, they really got, got behind using it. Another benefit of using um, Yammer has been that they can use it on any device, they can use it on iPads um, in school and on their own devices um, at home as well. Um, there's an app that they could download for Yammer which quite quickly been, became the, the main method of using it. Um, it suited them better because it's what they're used to using um, in their sort of day to day life. So the app and the chat function that's been um, particularly useful. Yammer also provides a, a safer introduction to social media because the teachers do have full control over um, usernames and passwords and who can see what information. It's a, a secure network, um, the global one. The digital difference that I've seen using Yammer has been a, a marked improvement in engagement throughout the course. Um, I think it's been easier to get through slightly more difficult, drier ends of the course because you build up that uh, positive relationship with them because uh, the students have had a lot more control over the types of things that we talk about, setting the agenda and being able to find things for themselves and, and post it onto Yammer. Um, as well as that, I think the completion of uh, home learning tasks has, has been increased markedly as well. Um, again, because you can offer slightly different types of tasks um, than a conventional worksheet that you'd hand out and have it um, back in for the following week. So this year in our higher politics class, we started to use Yammer in conjunction with the Glow SharePoint. And we use this uh, as a way to, to view our classroom materials at home and to discuss current issues. I think it's been really good using Yammer. Um, it's, it kind of breaks the barrier between teacher and student almost because I think it's a lot easier to um, ask questions uh, like immediately and we'll get a reply immediately if we're stuck on something at home. Um, the Sway is really good with the home learning tasks as well because it's got all the notes that we need. Uh, we'll have easy access to it and um, yeah, it's been a really good project. <laughs> with the SharePoint it meant that if you'd missed anything in class you could go back, catch up easily. You wouldn't need to go necessarily asking for more materials and stuff like that because anything would be on there. 
I think that's one thing about Yammer that's worked particularly well for our subject. In particular, with it being politics, politics never stops, and you can't sum it up within 50 minutes. So it's really important for us to be able to use it over the weekend and over holidays and stuff. Uh, and that's that's where it really came through for us. A lot of important things have happened at the weekend that we've still been able to talk about through Yammer and connect with Mr. McKenzie and other teachers within the school, which you know you, you just can't not do almost for for the type of subject that this is you can kind of see the difference it makes in the classroom. Because we've had these conversations on Yammer, we can come in and continue it in class. We can build on it with more knowledge that our teacher would give us. And it kind of just helps the class get to know each other a bit more when we're all sharing our thoughts and that online. I think it's really effective as well when, because more recently we've, um, well, we've been planning like more essays in the, lead up to the exam and I usually do that in my essay planning jotter but instead um, when we're doing it as a class Mr McKenzie usually writes it up on the board and so after he's finished he usually takes a picture of it and then he uploads uplo uplo it to Yammer where I can just go and access that without having the time to write it in my notes. Um, the next steps for this project are going to be to, um, to spread it around, I think, to share the success. Um, so it was trialled in a, a small setting with my higher politics class. Um, my intention next year is to use it with um, higher modern studies across the, the department and wider into the faculty. And hopefully um, the, the word will spread around of success and other uh, faculties and subjects will want to take it on board themselves. I think the best piece of advice to give about um, embarking on something like this would be to just try it, you know, to download the app, to um, log into the, to the website and just have a go, play about with it, there's, there's no wrong way of doing it, um, just to experiment and see what happens.